Let's talk about acidity and bone density and bone health. Hi, I'm Dr. Peter Minky. This is Minky Wellness. And the more acidic our body, the more the, the pH, the body has a, has a very tight range of pH. P, acidity is the same as pH we we're talking about. As, so the, as the body gets more acidic, it pulls calcium out of the bones as a pH buffer, okay? And so this is, this is happening uh, I mean, if you if you followed my my video about the the toxicity and the bones, you realize that as we get older, we're accumulating more toxins. We're less able to get rid of them, and so the body stays more acidic. And as we stay more acidic, there's also a hormonal component which we'll talk about also. But uh, so we need hormones. That we need hormone power to keep the bone density. Uh, and so as we get older, the hormones go down, and and it doesn't. So we'll cut. We'll talk about that. But we also, as we get older, we get more acidic and more toxic. Our, our digestive system gets weaker. Let's talk about the connection between acidity and the digestion. And that influences our bone density. So as we get older, we're just kind of leaching all of our calcium out and minerals out of our bones uh, because we just have all these layers of issues. Now we got to take care of one and each of those at a, in turn. So if you're looking for a wellness approach to build up your bone density, it may not be a simple, straightforward, oh, I'm going to take a calcium supplement. Okay, so it's probably not going to work that way. Yes, you need the calcium, but you need to stop the poison. You need to stop the acidity. You need to stop the, the body from leaching out the, the calcium out of your bones in the first place. So let, how do we do that? Now that gets back to digestion. You might need to go back to the, the month that we did the digestive system and say, okay, what's happening? Why am I acidic? One of the reasons, and this is not the only reason, one of the reasons a person can be acidic is that we've got an inflamed gut from the bad diet, uh, or even uh, the immune system has dropped and we've got a microbe, a uh, parasite uh, or fungus that has taken over and started to grow in the gut that creates inflammation. So we've got inflammation, fundamentally the issue is inflammation. We've got an inflama inflammation in the gut, an inflamed gut. Now we've got the, the so what happens with inflammation in the tissue is the, if you look at it from, like, from a standpoint of an injury, let's say I get an injury on my wrist and what happens, it swells up. Why does it swell up? That's the inflammatory response. There are inflammatory cascade, there are uh, uh, indicators that go in, messengers that go in and say, well, we need to in increase the circulation to this area. And so those uh, compounds actually go in and cause the tissue to, to fall apart a little bit. They separate. It, it affects the connective tissue. So the connective tissue starts to loosen and fluid moves out of the vein systems and into the, out of the tubes, out of the circulatory system and into the tissue. Right? And so, but that's what happens in the gut. When we go in and have inflammation in the gut, the lining of the gut now swells and allows stuff to move through, fluid to move through. Well, that becomes leaky gut, right? So now we've got, it's supposed to be a nice tight door that regulates the what kind of material is coming in and out, and all of a sudden, we've got no border patrol at all, right? I mean, it's just stuff that's just coming across the border, and it's anything and everything, right? It's, there's no control. We've got to have control of that border that between the body and the outside world. And in the tube, in the digestive tube, that's still outside of the body. If you haven't heard me talk about that, the, the digestive tube is a, is a tube from mouth to anus that's still outside of the body. So the lining of the gut is responsible for maintaining that integrity, that boundary, that border between our bodies and the outside world. And so it only wants to let in the good stuff. Well, and if it's inflamed, if we have an inflammation system, now, why would we have an inflamed system? Well, where body is, uh, has created an autoimmune reaction and because the immune system is out of balance. Why is the immune system out of balance? Because we don't have enough antioxidants and we don't have enough oxygen. Low oxygen and low antioxidants is going to trigger autoimmune responses. We've got to get that system back on track talked about that, but you know, it's all, can you see how it's all coming together and how it may not be so simple? It's so frustrating for doctors who want to help. And so a person comes in with a simple system, a, a simple uh, 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 diagnosis. Okay, we've got, you know, osteo, uh, par, osteoporosis, we're losing bone density. This should be simple. It's not simple. It's an entire lifestyle overhaul that you have to do to get the body back on track. We've got to get the acidity handled. We've got to get the inflammation process handled. We've got to get the immune system uh, back in, uh, back on track. You, you see how it's just not this. It's not. I can't, I can't just throw calcium at it and expect it to solve the problem. So, what do we do about acidity? We've got to deal with our stress. 
we've got to deal with good flooding the body with good nutrients and we've got to st hey that sounds like your wellness strategy yes this is why I do the wellness strategy applies every single time we've got to handle our stress our stress will increase our, our acidity okay um, that that because it generally stress will decrease the ability for the gut to work right so if the guts out of balance then we're gonna get acidic how does that create acidity when you've got you know, undigested material if you don't digest your stomach your, your food in your stomach Undigested material makes it into the gut. We already talked about how we're already inflamed. There's too much junk down there. And so those particles of material that's supposed to be all broken down, it's supposed to come in as, as amino acids and fatty acids and all this digested and prepared material is supposed to make it into the bloodstream. Well, now you have chunks of spaghetti making it into the bloodstream. Um, you know, these, these are pr full proteins that are making it into the bloodstream and the body reads that as foreign material. And if we have an autoimmune system that's already overactive, um, and especially if it's overactive with a little bit of heavy metal toxicity, a little bit of mercury toxicity, then now all of a sudden, boom, we've got a big um, immune reaction to whatever protein that made it made its way in. If it's spaghetti, for example, and you've got wheat flour, then you're now going to react to wheat. Now, is it true that the the, the uh, you know the modern wheat, the hybridized wheat, is different? It is. It's different. It's even a different gluten. The gluten itself isn't the same. Uh, and so, you know, do we need to vilify it? No, we just need to stop eating it. Um, and, uh, and so, I, you know, I don't care what they do with it. If we stop eating it, they'll stop growing it, uh, because we'll stop buying it and, and then they won't make it anymore. We'll go back to something more wholesome and more natural. It's a pretty simple process, folks. Uh, you know, we'll drive the, drive it, the whole system will drive with your dollar, vote with your dollar. Okay. So we've got to get the gut back on track, right? So we definitely need to, and how do you get, what, well, go back? I did a whole month on the, on the gut. I did a whole month on the elimination system, did a whole month on the digest, digestive system. I can't tell you all of that right here. But from a bone standpoint, if we want to have healthy bones and we want to deal with the acidity and want to deal with calcium staying in the bones, right? That's, that's an important part. We want to get the calcium staying in the bones. We've got to get the gut health on track. Okay, so breathe. Breathe, love, and light. This is also why I've been doing a lot of breathing. Hopefully you've been going with me on this, and not just rolling your eyes going, ah, you're doing that breathing thing. It must be new age. Oh, he's so new age. Breathing is not new age. Okay, breathe. Breathe in love and peace and calming and send that peace and calming to your gut. And breathe a good lining down your gut. And now if we, if we think of acidity being, I'm gonna pick a color doesn't have to be what you agree with, but I mean, you can pick whatever color. I'm going to pick a color and I'm going to do the whole red and blue thing and it's not political. Uh, the the uh, inflammation would be red, the calm would be blue, and so um, I, I'm going to breathe in to my gut and I'm going to look for all the red because I'm going to, I'm going to tell my body, I'm just, I'm just telling my body, show me the inflammation, I'm going to breathe into my gut, Actually, I could do this whole body scan. I can say, okay, okay, body, show me the blue and the red. Show me where, what's inflamed. A lot of red, okay? So I breathe in, do a lot of red. Now, I'm gonna work on changing that to blue. So we get a lot of purple going on, right? And so then as we switch the purple to blue, and a very calm blue. And so I just, in one, two, three breaths, I can impact my whole acidity system by using a, 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 my breath and my consciousness Right, and so to get myself more alkaline, less acidic, turn it blue. Okay, so I'm gonna be blue man. Right, and so I still actually, as I breathe in, I still have some inflammation in my spine. I can feel that. So the bones are kind of the last thing to go in my experience when I start to work on it. The bones are slower. So as you start to work with bones, it takes nine months to turn the bones over, mineral wise. It takes some time to do that. So we've gotta have. A bone program. If you're on a program to help your bones, this one month of of uh, wellness for your bo your bones and joints isn't going to be enough. You have to work at something over some time, maybe even a whole year. But you also see, hopefully, you understand from the rest of the from the first part of this video that all you have to do all of it. Okay, this is why I'm doing this wellness program as this whole package. Then once you finish with the year, you can go and say, you know what, I really, really enjoyed that part or I really feel like I need to work on the bones and joints. I'm gonna do some breathing uh, and I'm gonna really focus on this and, and this is gonna motivate me to do the right things in all the other categories, right? Okay, so breathing in, keeping it calm. Like I said, I identified that even after I did my blue man thing, I'm going to, um, I, I feel that red in the spine. So. Get it to go purple, 
and then blue. All right, so I'm breathing in the calm, breathing in the love, breathing in the light. Okay, now can we drink water and help with the, yes, of course, we, we, we're doing our hydration challenge, right? We, we've got to drink water. Uh, and, and so we're doing, and the red drink is amazing. We're getting our water, we're getting our sulfur zyme to detox, we're getting our prebiotics in the, in the sulfur zyme powder, uh, we're getting the lime oil for the immune system and for the lymphatic system. It's, we're just, it's, it's almost like, okay, magic. I don't really say magic, but you know, it's, it's so amazing, it seems like magic. Um, the, uh, the the red drink, really, really important, I think, to get us alkaline and to move us in the right direction. Okay, so you can see how many systems are at play here, how many things are going on. This is why you haven't been able to do it on your own. This is why you haven't just been well. Why, why can't we just be well? Why do I have to do all this stuff? I just want to be well. Well, there's a lot of moving parts, okay? And so pick pick your battles. Find out the thing that's the most offensive and get rid of that. And if you haven't got rid of synthetic fragrances, that's going to be your most offensive uh, because it's short-circuiting all the rest of your ability to pay attention to your body. That's why. Uh, and then the next thing, get rid of fluoride uh, because that's a homeopathic mechanism that numbs out your brain-body connection. Uh, so we want to get rid of that. Uh, so because your brain-body connection is your most powerful tool and asset in your wellness journey. Please get that. Please understand that. So as we get in touch with our body, we get, in, we get in tune with our bone physiology and our bone structure and the calcium, breathe in the calcium and send it into the bones. Well, if I don't have any calcium, I can't send it to the bones. So that's why I supplement with some calcium. I'm now sending that calcium to the bones. You see how we can start to, once you know a little bit, you can start to implement these things in multiple pathways. And it doesn't have to be one thing. Now you know, okay, my gut health is related to my bones. So when you go in to do some breathing for your bones, Breathe into your gut as well, right? And so now we can sort of make these connections, say, okay, I need to help my gut, which is going to motivate me. One, I'm going to get more in tune with my gut. And two, it'll motivate me to be, make better food choices, right? Better food choices. And you know what you need to do. And if you don't, then you're not paying attention to your body, right? And so you need to go back and start my program again and get in touch with your body. Okay. Wellness, one day at a time. Breathe it in. Drink it in. Put it on, the essential oils, use your release oil. If all of this is overwhelming and if you're feeling overwhelmed and you're like, oh my gosh, I don't know what to do. I can't do this. I'm going to shut this guy off. Get your release oil. Get your joy oil. Get some oil. That's why I love the essential oils. They can help us with the emotional elements of life, which includes healing. There's a whole thing on affirmations we probably should do too, right? You know, I mean, if you read scripture, that's like God's affirmation to us. You know, we just, we probably need to flood our brain, flood our spirit with nutrients, and that's kind of, you know, affirmations, right? And if you're, if you're in the new age category, you call them affirmations. If you're a Christian, we call them Bible verses. Um, and so just reading some goodness and right, in, in soaking the brain with goodness, uh, that, that is that encouragement, the affirmation that God loves us, that we are loved, uh, and that we have a purpose, and it matters, that we are here uh, and it matters that you are here and you are loved by God. Okay, we went from bone, uh, acidity, and, and uh, all the way to God's love. Isn't that amazing what wellness is like? Okay, happy wellness one day at a time.